still waiting for the trilogy port on the Switch. Oh god. I don't know why the fuck it hasn't been done yet. <laughs> Maybe they're I have the it trilogy. Out they... Maybe I got the trilogy port on the they... Wii. Mm. Yeah, I, I think they're waiting oh, it out until they they're finally ready to uh to uh, reveal us a Metro Prime for like gameplay trailer. Yeah, I think... Honestly, I like... like I understand that, but at the same time, if they actually yeah. did reveal the port, then it would give a yeah. lot of Metroid fans something to do while they're waiting for Metroid Prime Four. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I do feel mm -hmm. like, I feel like... I, I do feel like an effective like... way to do it would be like, all right, so we finally have a release date. It's like two years from now, but uh, in the meantime, have the trilogy on Switch. And people would probably flip their shit over that, because I absolutely would. Mm -hmm. That's that's exactly what I would do, because that shit was fucking good. Like, Metroid Prime series, I will say it as many times as needed, easily the best series of fucking Metroid games that I have ever played. Just ah, the most damn it. fire. Most fucking oh, fire. It was so good. Just wondering mm. if that could do, and, that, and that's something that Game Freak games should do. Mmm. Uh, I mean, the whole thing about the fucking national decks is basically it was it was more or less confirmed that the reason that all the shit has been happening to Pokemon is because Game Freak decided, hey, we don't want Pokemon to be our main focus anymore. Which, I mean, yeah. It is kind of shitty, but it's understandable when I hear an echo like, still. these people have been doing fucking... Yeah, I'm hearing it too. But, like, when people have been doing Pokemon for fucking years on end, like, I can understand getting burnt out. But at the same time, if you're getting burnt out, I feel like there should, like, go on hiatus for a couple of years and then give us a really good game, half-ass a game now, and then throw it out to us. Yeah, I can agree. this is what's gonna happen. Or you know, give it to someone better. Yeah, or give it, yeah, say. or give it to, give it to or pass it off to another studio. Exactly, yeah. fucking give it to somebody that is gonna give a shit. They could just give it to a new dev studio. I mean, look at Sony; they're building new, uh, uh, new studios, at least five, and uh, and um. Oh wait, they're building in one studio, and they're buying, and they're buying four or more. So they're gonna be, uh, and not. To, oh, the new, the new Sony building. They're gonna, they're gonna continue the Uncharted series. Oh. And I hear it's gonna be a prequel. I mean, okay, sure. Mm -hmm. um, Alright. I'm glad no one cares. Wasn't, he was never too fond of Uncharted anyway, but okay, prequel. Well, you're, yeah, yeah, a a... you're talking to a big Sony guy here. I've, I've, I've grown... Fucking I've watered grown down. <laughs> I've grown with Sony before Fuck... Nintendo. <laughs> Fucking watered down Tomb Raider. Pretty much. <laughs> With a guy. Can we get some? Al Can we get some? I did Alan play Vera the Tomb Raider for... remakes. Those were pretty fucking good. I like those games. Hmm. Where the fuck do I go? Uh, try going to the lower one. Actually, no. Yeah, try going to the, the one in the middle. Let's see how many how many dev how many development teams does Nintendo have? Uh, probably a fuck ton. Mm hmm. Given it's fucking Nintendo. Yeah, really. But as there's a thousand people in your team and still oh. somehow create actual oh, garbage. Oh, okay. There's a, there's another entrance. Yoink. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Casually just miss all of that. Mm hmm. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Casually clips through the wall. <laughs> Son of a Damn it. I love obnoxious platforming puzzles <sighs> that require extendable platforms. Fucking hell. Yeah, no, I've I've had some issues with uh Metroid uh Fusion in the past. It's not a terrible game. But there's just some things that I wish could have been done better. And be free. I think my one friends. of the biggest things about this fucking game that I didn't like was the amount of like even when you get to the end game where you have the best fucking upgrades, the amount of damage that you take from a single fucking hit is obnoxious. Yeah, bro. Hmm.
balancing on it was kind of off. I mean, I like the game, but a lot of fucking balance was off. Uh. Atacoons and Dekaras. I've met these intelligent beings before. They seem to recognize me as well. How unusual to meet them again here. In the past, they've helped me unleash abilities I didn't know I had. Well, yeah, such as the wall jumping. But where and the shine spark. <laughs> yeah. That was a fucking nice touch that they actually put in the game, because I didn't even notice that the first time, but like, I, I was wondering what the fuck they were doing, and they're teaching you, oh, wait, this is how you wall jump. This is how you do the fucking shine spark. I was like, oh, fuck, Dude, that's great. Mm -hmm. There's a really seamless way of putting a tutorial into the game without making it feel like a video game. Yeah, no, th th there's just there's so much genius behind Super Metroid. <clears throat> so is your suit slowly becoming whole again, or...? <sighs> kind of. I mean, the key thing about the fusion suit is that it's not the complete suit because parts of the suit actually had to be sawed off. They had to be surgically removed. And then other parts were like attached directly to her spine and shit. So they're like, fuck, we can't get rid of this without fucking paralyzing her. So I guess we're leaving it on. So, I mean, I that's kind of consider it. That, that's kind of the whole aesthetic of the suit is that it looks like, well, you know, parts of it are huge oh, chunks Jesus that are missing. Christ. Of course, that's what I fucking see. A frozen Ridley X. <sighs> oh. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, I was like away looking at the uh, laptop because I get these like little notifications. Mm. Yeah. <sighs> Morty. Whoa, what the hell? <laughs> Ah, hmm. interesting. Oh, jeez, Rick. All right, well. I know what I'm supposed to do here. Breakthrough! Yeah. Breakthrough. I thought you were just, I thought you were just the dash. Yes, I was referencing that Queen song. Not many people know that song that well. Breakthrough. Oh, I remember that song. Yeah, that's Breakthrough. what I was... From I barely Queen. say I barely listen to it though. Yeah. Like I I listen to most of the songs from um from uh their last album, ninety one album. Any window. Oh yeah. That was like that was like their breakthrough of being uh that was like their best album since um Night the Op Night the Opera. Well most of their albums from <laughs> the seventies. The show must okay. go on. Yes. Okay, so what wheels what wheels of steel said to here kind of confuses me because the way you guys described the fusion suit makes it sound like it was the original suit, but it was messed around with by the X parasite and then dismantled partially. I mean, so that's pretty it... much what that's pretty much how it was. Is fucking the original suit got infected by the X parasite and then just basically latched onto her because the suit was infected. It was it became basically part of a living organism. <laughs> Uh, when she got brought in to, you know, get herself unfucked, they tried to remove the suit, and they realized, oh shit, this isn't coming off because it's basically attached to her now, it's part of her. So, they had to surgically remove what parts of it that they could, and then afterwards they realized, some of these parts we have to fucking leave on there, because otherwise we are just going to end up destroying her fucking body if we keep taking parts off. So they decided that instead of removing the suit, what they were going to do is they were going to put, they were going to inject it instead with the natural enemy of the X parasites, which were Metroids, which is <laughs> hence the name Metroid Fusion. Fusion, ha! Huh? <laughs> so yeah, now, now she is half Metroid. She is, she has become the thing that she has sworn to destroy. Mm -hmm. Hmm. But yeah, that is like that confused me because Wheels of Steel said, "I want to point out that you're never gonna get your old suit back in this game," and I'm just like, "Technically, you are your old suit. It's just different." Kerfuffle. Also, uh, yeah. Also, 
I know me and Brett have played this game several times, so we both know that the the original suit isn't coming back in this game. Oh yeah, no. Like I was asking earlier, like, would there ever be like a Metroid Five, like from the main entry, <clears throat> main entrant uh, entries? If they did, Maybe. I could only imagine that Samus would be somewhat like the fusion. Unless, I mean, unless that would be. Go ahead. I think that was kind of the reason that there was never a game that was canonically set after Fusion is because Fusion is supposed to kind of be the end to Metroid because she's now part Metroid. And uh, and I feel like um <clears throat> I had a thought here and I fucking lost it. Hey, time. We'll still be here. No, I think it was just something along the lines of it's just Honestly, a lot of people like the regular various suit better than the uh, than the fusion suit, which is understandable. It definitely takes some growing into, but uh, I mean, it's kind of <laughs> like I think I think the real thing is it's kind of just like where do you go from there? Like once you go past Metroid Fusion, like you're gonna have to come up with an entirely new theme and like kind of a whole new gimmick to come up with. How are, how exactly are you gonna one up literally being? used with a metroid the only way i can think is that you're not samus <laughs> i mean oh, that's what happened with federation <gasps> oh, force <gasps> mm. there already a lot of no, wasn't federation force multiplayer only it was like a multiplayer fucking i mean like Why the concept so itself wasn't the fucking worst thing but uh oh hi it's Good old SAX. <laughs> Sax. I love doing that shit. Wait, is it coming back? If you shoot at the walls, then yeah, it'll come back. If you make noise, it'll come back. You have to wait for it. You have to wait for the sound of the door shutting. Tiny head. I feel like if there were to be a canonical entry after Fusion, personally, I feel like if they wanted to do it without trying to retcon away the Fusion suit or anything like that, they could make it so that there's a new character and Samus, used with a Metroid, had at some point succumbed to the Metroid side of her and needs to be destroyed for the best of the universe. So they find someone who maybe can, probably, and then that's your new character, and that's what you spend the rest of the game doing. Oh, he's scared. Fuck! Fuck! Ah, uh, he's well, screaming. I got myself anyway. killed. Great. Dead. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that'd be an interesting Metroid game. A game all about hunting down the one that used to be, like, you know, the best. And then trying I mean, to take him down. That's kind of what happened in fucking Federation Force, is... I forget what the fucking thing was because I never really closely followed that game, but the final boss did end up being Samus. And then they cheaped out at the end because Samus was totally okay after having these four fucking Federation Marines wailing on her. It's just, I don't know. It's fucking... It was, it was a really, really weird time. Mm. I mean, one really cool thing, though, about the Fusion Suit is that for those of you that did like it, uh, if you had a GBA link cable for the GameCube, mm -hmm. you could hook it up to your fucking GameCube with Metroid Prime, and then you could have the Fusion Suit in Metroid Prime. Okay, that's pretty cool. It was pretty fucking neat. I'm like, fuck, that's... Okay, that's, you know what? That's, that's a great. reason for me to collect the, uh, the, uh, the GameCube copy, so that way I would try it out. Oh, yeah, by all means. Oh, I, I also have to have the, though, um, the the Game Boy Player in order to make it work, too, so... Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. I, I will say, though, fucking, honestly, the, the fucking Wii version for the second game is way better. Mainly because there is one boss fight involving the Morph Ball. It takes place entirely as a Morph Ball, and you have to really utilize the jumping mechanic, and jumping with the Morph Ball in the GameCube version is exclusively done by using bomb jumps, and it is a fucking nightmare. In, in the mm. Wii version, you can just flick the Wii remote up and you'll do a jump, and it makes shit so much easier. But yeah, no. It's a fucking nightmare otherwise. <laughs>